I'm Ben Holtberg, and I'm a founding member of Hope Sports. I'm also a professor at Fuller and the Thrive Center for Human Development. The beauty of sports for young people is they get connected to something where they feel like they belong. Kids need relationships in their life, and so what sports does is it provides a, a, a framework of relationships that help them to be able to develop and understand who they are. As you begin to move through sports and you get better and, and, and you start to perform well, it becomes a natural trajectory for young people to start to associate their worth and value as a human being to what they do. And then when this begins to start to become ingrained in them, the stakes get even higher for competition. Because if my worth and value is based on how I perform, when competition comes up, that can be a threat to who I am. And so for many elite athletes, they battle this, that this, this sense of identity and worth based in performance begins to turn what was a gift to a burden. This is what begins to uh, uh, form as what I call a performance-based identity, is when people put their worth and value in how they perform. I remember being a, a middle school student and kids making fun of me, calling me names, and I didn't feel like I, I fit in in school. And my dad bought me a bike when I was 10 years old, and I started riding. And it was the only place I felt safe, that I could get away from the name calling. As I started riding more, I realized that I was pretty good at cycling. I started seeing pictures of kids on the national team, and I started watching the Tour de France, and, and seeing that maybe I, could, maybe I could win Olympic medal, maybe I could go to the Tour de France. As I got better, there was more expectations for my sponsors to perform, for my coaches, and it became oppressive and it became more difficult the higher up I got. And I actually started to not enjoy cycling anymore. I was never meeting people's expectations that they had on my life. And, and I internalized that and I believed that, that I had no worth or value if I didn't perform. And so I developed eating disorders. I was bulimic, I was anorexic, I was depressed. An athlete with a performance-based identity begins to compete not to lose. They begin to feel like there's a fear of letting other people down, a fear of not being enough, a fear of not accomplishing their goals. And even for those athletes who do accomplish their dream, they often are left feeling unfulfilled when they've become the very best at what they do and they still don't feel a sense of fulfillment. So this is the danger of having a performance-based identity for an athlete as you go through your career, hoping that you will feel good about yourself and some future result. And then even when you come to this point of retirement, often athletes will ask themselves, who am I? What's next for me? Because they've known themselves solely as an athlete their whole life. In 2009, I remember traveling to Mexico City as a member of the Trek Livestrong team that was founded by Lance Armstrong and I saw extreme poverty for the first time. Um, people living in cardboard shacks on the street. And I was like, what's, what's the point? What am I pursuing? Do these medals, accomplishments actually mean anything? Quit cycling. And I was at the peak of my career, sold everything I owned, grew my hair past my shoulders, lived out of a backpack. I ended up in Tijuana, Mexico. I came here for a week just to try it out. I ended up staying for four years and I restarted my athletic career but I did it um, while working with a nonprofit organization I saw that Homes of Hope is a perfect organization for people who have never served the poor to get involved for the first time it's the initial experience that sets people's heart on fire to want to do to do more my purpose and my passion is to help athletes begin to recognize their worth and value as human beings as they serve others. It gives them a sense of fulfillment. It, it allows them, it, it promotes character virtues like generosity and patience and joy. And, and when they leave sport, uh, they not only have uh, accomplished things athletically, but they also are proud of who they are as a, as a human being. What I'm passionate about doing is helping young people strive for excellence, to be the best they can be in sport, but also to be the best people they can be. When people find purpose, it changes their lives. It allows them to understand and find a sense of worth that gives them a foundation that can endure the ups and downs of sport. Through my experience with Homes of Hope, uh, I, I started getting more athletes involved. And in 2012, we had the first group of Olympic athletes after the London Olympic Games. And that's how Hope Sports was started. And the idea continues on to encourage emotional and spiritual health amongst athletes. 
And by that, we mean helping them find identity and discovering a higher purpose in their lives. As a former track and field athlete, uh, I am passionate about helping athletes connect to their purpose and to find meaning in life so that they can be better people and they can transform the world.